Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 in 4K. Let's go in this bitch. Brass tanks. What's going on people? It's your boy Brass Tax in this bitch you already know. I went over to a friend and he had all the Harry Potter movies. I'm not going to buy them until they all come out together. I skipped through chapters, watched a little bit, made my assumptions, made some notes, didn't review the sound. I will say across the board this it sounded very very good. So there's going to be a quick review on the transfer itself. I'm not going to talk about the movies because you guys already done seen this movie. This movie been around for a long time. All the Harry Potter movies have. This movie was shot in 35 and 70 millimeter. Uh, the digital intermediate is 2K visual effects, 2K DTSX master audio. It is a quite a decent upgrade from the 1080p guys. It, it is. I wasn't expecting it to be. It's got a nice three-dimensional pop to it. There is some clarity. The real winner, though, of this transfer is the HDR. When it comes to the special effects... Can you hear the ice cream van in this bitch? I want ice cream. Fuck this review. What I really wanted to see was the, the climax of this movie because it was predominantly shot at night. So I wanted to see how the HDR handled that, and it handled that magnificently in this Beach. The HDR looks fantastic at the latter half of the movie. It does have nice rich colours throughout and there is some nice three-dimensional pop to it. You do see layers. There is a little bit of grain because obviously it was shot in 35 but it's not overbearing at all. You will notice things in fabrics and, and, and wrinkles and all of that shit uh, that you probably wouldn't have noticed on the on the 1080p. Does it look great? I, I think great is a stretch. I think the HDR looks great but I think the movie is definitely a nice appreciable upgrade over its 1080p counterpart. In a movie this dark in tone and literally, it's a dark movie, the black levels have to be on point. And for the most part, the black levels are pretty decent in this. You do make out everything pretty clearly because I do feel the 1080p version of this, the black levels were pretty muddy. The color palette is really good, but in some scenes it's muted because some scenes are cold and some scenes it looks vibrant as a motherfucker. I'm not gonna lie to you. You probably notice the detail in the close-ups more than in wide shots. Is it gonna be in your top 10? No. Is it worth full price? To me personally, no. It's not worth full price. I would wait for a box set uh, for this movie uh, and then pick it up that way if you're a Harry Potter fan. That's pretty much it. Anyway guys, hit the like button if you liked it. Definitely hit the subscribe if you haven't already and I'ma catch you guys next time.